Welcome to our video guide on control valve calibration. In this video, we will walk you through the essential steps involved in calibrating a control valve for optimal performance and accuracy. Here is simply definition of calibration. What is calibration? Calibration is the process of adjusting and verifying the accuracy of a measuring instrument. It involves comparing the instrument's readings with a known reference standard and making adjustments if necessary. Calibration ensures reliable and precise measurements, improving quality control and compliance. It requires preparation, comparison, measurement, analysis, adjustment, verification, and documentation. Regular calibration is essential to maintain accuracy and reliability in measuring instruments. What is control valve calibration? How it works? Control valve calibration is the process of adjusting and setting the parameters of a control valve to ensure its proper functioning and accuracy in controlling fluid flow, pressure, or temperature in a system. Calibration is typically performed to ensure that the control valve responds correctly to control signals and accurately regulates the desired process variable. Here are the general steps involved in control valve calibration. 1. Preparation. Gather the necessary tools and equipment for calibration, including a calibration bench or setup, pressure gauges, flow meters, temperature sensors, and any specialized tools specific to the valve being calibrated. 2. Valve inspection. Before calibration, visually inspect the control valve for any signs of damage, leaks, or worn out parts. 2. Ensure that the valve is clean and free from debris. 3. Bench setup. If available, set up a calibration bench that can simulate the process conditions in which the control valve operates. 3. The bench should have the necessary instruments and devices to measure and control the relevant parameters. 4. Preliminary checks. Connect the control valve to the calibration bench or the actual process system. 4. Ensure that the valve is properly installed and secured. 4. Check for any leaks in the connections. 5. Initial measurements. Measure the initial conditions, such as the pressure, flow rate, and temperature of the fluid passing through the control valve. 5. These measurements serve as a baseline for comparison during the calibration process. 6. Stroke and range calibration. Calibrate the control valve stroke by adjusting the actuator's position or stroke limiters. 6. This ensures that the valve opens and closes fully according to the control signal. 6. Adjust the range of the control valve to match the desired operating conditions by adjusting the travel stops or mechanical stops. 7. Zero and span adjustments. Zero adjustment involves ensuring that the control valve provides no flow or pressure drop when the control signal is at its minimum. 7. Span adjustment involves setting the maximum flow or pressure drop at the control valve's full opening position, corresponding to the maximum control signal. 8. Characterization. Calibrate the control valve's response to different control signals by measuring the valve's actual flow or pressure drop at various control signal levels. 8. Adjust the valve's positioner or controller settings to achieve the desired response. 9. Final checks. After calibration, perform a final set of measurements to verify that the control valve operates within the specified parameters. 9. Check for any leaks, abnormal vibrations, or other irregularities. 10. Documentation. Record all calibration data, including initial and final measurements, adjustments made, and any notes or observations. 10. This documentation helps in future maintenance, troubleshooting, and reference. It's important to note that control valve calibration procedures may vary depending on the specific type of control valve, its application, and the manufacturer's recommendations. It's recommended to refer to the control valve's instruction manual or consult with the manufacturer for detailed calibration instructions specific to your valve model. Thank you for watching our video on control valve calibration. We hope you found it informative. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Happy calibrating!